the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I am going to prove to you that it is goodbye Hellflame Quirk. And the reason for that is this tier 40 reward explosion quirk. Yes, it is a, the new quirk from the fight pass. Gamer Nom, can't I just keep both of the quirks? Sadly, yes. no. For example, you have the Hellflame quirk and you unlock a reward, a new quirk. For example, the explosive quirk. And if you equip it, sadly, this Hellflame quirk will disappear. Okay? So let's try it in the tournament dimension. First up, we're gonna use the Hellflame quirk. We're gonna compare it if it is worth it to lose this quirk for the explosion quirk. First, we're gonna try the skills without the buff. Okay, first skill, Flash Fire Fist. 35 damage. Not bad. The range of this skill is not also that bad. Okay? Second skill, we have the Hell Spider. Guys, once you use this skill, you will be able to stun your enemy. But at the same time, you cannot move. But you can still use the skills, okay? Again, you can stun your enemy with damage. But you cannot move. But the difference with that is you can use your skills, okay? Okay, so I think that's a good... A combo with other stuns as long as you hit your enemy, okay? Okay, so The problem with that is if you try to hit your enemy For example, the enemy was able to dodge And you're open. I mean you cannot move etc. You cannot cancel the skill So take note of that if you want to use this skill, okay? Okay, so moving on to the third skill of the Hell Flame Kirk, my favorite skill, the Prominence Burn. Just the effects, guys, but you know, not the damage, the range, etc. Just the effects. Again, one more time, that is the maximum range of the skill. There you go. Let's try it with buff and champion. We're going to use Bakugo Champion. So, Aerosis will also use. Explosive Nova. Okay, let's try first skill. 43 damage. Not bad. Hmm. But if you're gonna ask me, I'm not going to use that in the tournament dimension. The second skill. Oh, again, this skill has a stun. You can use the skills, but you cannot move. 37 damage. Not bad. Last skill is the Prominence Burn. 55 damage. Hmm. Now time to compare it to the explosion quirk. And this is the quirk used by Bakugo, right? Okay, first skill, the stun grenade. Upon using this skill, you just need to point your cursor in your enemy even though you're not facing him. There you go, and your character will automatically face your enemy. Not bad. I wanna check the damage. Okay. 26 plus, I think it's 2 additional ticks of 8, 1, 2. Okay, so 3 ticks of 8 plus 26 damage. Now, for the second skill, we have the Howitzer Impact. Well, I think this is the circular motion before the hit, right? Let's check it out. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Wow, that's a lot of damage. 20, 10, 10. Plus 10 plus 5 plus 10 plus 5. I don't know. <laughs> That's cool, guys. Next up, we have the AP shot. Hmm. It's a lot of damage for the howitzer. The AP shot. Okay. Hmm. I think we need to close it up to check the damage. Okay, one more. 20, 30, 10, 30, 40. Okay, 50. 60. Oh, we have 70 damage. 4. The AP shot, now we're gonna try it with buffs such as Explosive Nova and Bakugo. Yes, Aerosis will also use, again, Explosive Nova. Guys, we're trying this to check how good it is in the tournament dimension. Oh, that's a lot. 30, 40, 50, 60. Something 60 or 70 damage. Okay, for the Howitzer, 25 plus 4 ticks of 12. Not bad. For the AP shot, we have 37 damage plus 4 ticks of 12. That is 85. 
So let's make it clear, guys. Explosion Quirk is far better than Hell Flame Quirk, right? Next up, the boss fights. First, we are going to try, yes, the Hell Flame Quirk with Explosive Nova and Bakugo. Oh, by the way, if you want to know, Bakugo increases your damage by 40%. So if you're gonna ask me, is Hell Flame good in boss fights? Guys, no. This quirk sucks, even though this is the rarest quirk. You have a chance of 2.6%, something like that, on acquiring it. Guys, did you see that first skill, 61 damage? We have a champion and explosive Nova. Second skill, guys, don't ever try on using second skill. The damage is 86, but you cannot move after that. Don't do that on boss fights, okay? I'm just showing it to you to prove my point. So now I'm thinking what is the best skill if ever you're gonna use this. First skill or the prominence burn. Let's check it out. Prominence burn damage. The first skill has 61, right? Prominence burn. Okay, let's go. Okay, 135. Hmm. Not bad. Better than the first two skills. But again, guys, please. If possible, try to avoid using this special perk in boss fights or in tournament dimensions maybe. But if you want to take advantage of the stun, actually the stun of that of this perk is kind of long. Yeah, the duration is long, but it really depends too. Now we are going to use the explosion perk again with explosive Nova and Bakugo. Time to compare the skills. Okay, for the first skill of the explosion quirk 73 plus is that 17 yeah more than 100 damage right it's like uh 130 plus hmm. kind of low how it's your impact i wasn't able to see it but two skills combined and the damage is less than 300 hmm. not that impressive how about the ap shot Let's check the AP shot. Okay. We have 110, 55, and 27. That's like 192. Something like that. I'm not sure, guys. What I've noticed from this uh, quirk is the cooldown. The cooldown is very fast. And comparing it to Hellflame, guys, this quirk is a lot better, right? Boss fights, better. Tournament dim dimension better. So yeah, I think as a conclusion, goodbye Hellflame, Hello Explosion Quirk. What can you say about that? Comment it on the comment section. Again guys, if you remove Explosion Quirk, you can put it back again because it is part of the fight pass. So that will be it for this video. I hope that you learned something. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.